Let's see Twinkle Toes. Peppa and George are playing in their bedroom. I saw. <coughs> George, you must stay on your side of the bedroom. That's your side, and this is my side. <coughs> Do not cross the invisible line. Post! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr Zebra. Hello, Daddy Pig. I've got some letters for you. Is there anything for me and George? <coughs> hmm, I'm afraid not. They're all for Mummy and me. Oh. There's a parcel as well. Probably that box of reinforced concrete I ordered. Look at all the stamps on it. That's because it's from a long way away. Bye now. Bye-bye. Oh, the label says it is for Pepper and George. Yippee! <laughs> Look, Mummy, a parcel for George and me. Ooh. There's a letter, too. Dear Pepper and George, here is a present for you to share. Love from your Auntie Dotty. Auntie Dotty lives far away in another country. Ooh, what is the present? It's got wheels. Car! <laughs> It's not a car, George. It's got legs. It's a table. <laughs> it's got a tail. Oh, tables don't have tails. There's a handle as well. What can it be? There's something else in the box. It's a toy horse. I shall call it... Twinkle Toes. Horsey. Twinkle Toes. Horsey. Twinkle Toes. Horsey. Remember, children, Aunt Dottie sent the present for both of you. You'll have to share. Sharing can be fun. Can I play with Twinkle Toes first? Let George have the first turn. He's the youngest. <laughs> Horsey. Horsey. <laughs> George likes playing with Horsey. George. It is called Twinkle Toes, not Horsey. Now it's Peppa's turn. I am Princess Peppa with my magic horse, Twinkle Toes. Peppa likes playing with Twinkle Toes. Whoops! Perhaps you should play with the toy horse outside. Yes, Mummy. <laughs> hmm, it's a bit steep here. Maybe you should play at the bottom of the hill. And the quickest way down the hill is to ride down. Are you sure, Daddy? Don't crash like you always do. Ho, ho. I know what I'm doing, Peppa. I'm a grown-up. Yeah! How are you going to stop, Daddy? Uh, I don't know. Ah. Where are the brakes? <laughs> Clever, Daddy. You use the duck pond to stop. What was that big splash? What big splash? Daddy Pig, did you know you've got a duck on your head? Oh, uh, yes. Well, I did fall in the pond. <laughs> horsey, horsey. George wants to ride on the toy horse. Go, go. Oh. George cannot make the horse go. If only there was someone big and strong to push George along. I'm big and strong. I can push George. What a good idea, Pepper. <laughs> horsey, horsey. George, she's called Twinkle Toes. Horsey. Twinkle Toes. Horsey. <laughs> I know. Because the present is for both of us, We'll call her Horsey Twinkle Toes. <laughs> Pepper and George love playing together with Horsey Twinkle Toes. <laughs> Mr Fox's shop. Mummy and Daddy Pig are wrapping up a present. Ooh, a present. Is it for me or George? <laughs> no, Pepper. It's not for you or George. Oh, is it a toy? No, it's a glass vase. That's a bit of a boring present. Oh, ho, ho. It's a present for grown-ups. We've bought this for Granny and Grandpa Pig. It's their wedding anniversary. Can me 
and George buy them a present too? That's very sweet of you, Peppa. But presents can cost a lot of money. We've got money in our piggy bank. Peppa and George have one penny and two buttons to spend. OK, let's go shopping. This is Mr Fox's shop. Hello there. Can I help you? It's Granny and Grandpa Pig's wedding anniversary. They're both very old and need a present. My shop has everything. Oh, I'm sure you'll find something you like. A big teddy. I love it. This can be the present. Peppa, the present is not for you. It's for Granny and Grandpa. Oh, yes. Oh, look. Funny teeth. They're wind-up joke teeth. Very popular. <laughs> Can they be the present for Granny and Grandpa? I think Granny and Grandpa have all the teeth they need, Peppa. Do your Granny and Grandpa like gardening and digging? Yes. Then why not get them a bucket and spade each? Buy one, get one free. They've already got spades and buckets and forks and everything. Oh, dear. I know. Grandpa likes sailing his boat. Say no more. I have everything a sailor could ever wish for. Do you have pirate's treasure? Uh, everything except pirate's treasure. Oh. Do Granny and Grandpa like antiques? What does antique mean? Antique means old and rare. Usually, yes. But my antiques are brand new. That chair comes in a set of 12. Nice, isn't it? Is it made of oak? Yes, it's made of plastic oak. Is it comfortable? You mustn't sit on it. Antique chairs are not for sitting on. So, what do you do with them? You look at them. That's not much fun, even for a grown-up. Buying a present for Granny and Grandpa is hard work. I don't understand. My shop sells everything. There must be something you like. There is. I like this teddy. And I think Granny and Grandpa would like it too. Oh, oh, let's buy the teddy then. A very good choice. Who's going to pay? One penny and two buttons. Here's your change. One button. Thank you, Mr Fox. Pepper and her family have come to give Granny and Grandpa Pig their presents. Hello, my little ones. Happy anniversary. Oh, another glass vase. It's a grown-up present. That's why it's a bit boring. It's lovely. We'll put it with our other glass vases. George and me bought you a present too. I hope you like it. A teddy bear for Grandpa and me. Thank you. Pepper and George. He's very good at cuddling. Does he have a name? Um, he's called Eddie the Teddy. And what does Eddie like to eat? Chocolate and broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best present we've ever had. Oh, but if Eddie is going to live here, he'll need children to play with. We can play with him, Granny. <laughs> And every time you visit us, he'll be here for you to play with. Oh, goody! <laughs> <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit's Dinosaur Park. Today is Freddy Fox's birthday, and all the children are going on a big adventure. Where are we going for your birthday, Freddy? I don't know, but I can't wait to get there. <laughs> We're here! <laughs> Welcome to Grumpy Rabbit's Dinosaur Park! Ooh! Dinosaur! <laughs> George loves dinosaurs. Are there really dinosaurs here? No, just pretend ones. Phew! Real dinosaurs died out 65 million years ago. Edmund knows a lot about dinosaurs. He is a clever clogs. But we've got better than real dinosaurs. We've got singing dinosaurs. We are the dinosaurs, the dinosaurs, the dinosaurs. We are the dinosaurs. Listen to us. 
<laughs> They're a bit small. Yes. Aren't dinosaurs meant to be big? Ah, oh, yes. We do have a big dinosaur. A real whopper. Uh, would you like to meet it? Yes, yes, please. These are its footprints. We just have to follow them. Ooh. These footprints look very real. Are you sure there's no living dinosaurs about, Grumpy Rabbit? Uh, quite sure, Daddy Pig. Over the boulders, everyone! <laughs> Across the bridge! <laughs> Through the cave! <laughs> oh, the footprints have stopped. Look! There are some green steps. It's a big slide! Whee! Whee! Wow! It's a big dinosaur! Yes! It's my whopping ginormous dinosaur slide! Ah! That is some dinosaur! He's a brontosaurus! Actually, the correct name is a patasaurus. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Yes. Right, my little explorers. Are you ready for the next bit of the adventure? Yes, Grumpy Rabbit. We have to find an egg. An egg? But eggs are little. It could be anywhere. Leave it to me. Foxes love hunting for eggs. <laughs> Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. Wow! What an egg! It's huge! Why is the egg so big? It's a dinosaur egg. Is it real? No, it's better than real. It's pretend. Watch this. <laughs> the dinosaur egg has a birthday cake inside it. <laughs> It's not a pretend cake, is it, Grampy Rabbit? No, the cake is very real and very tasty. Who wants some? Me! Me! Me. Birthday boy first. Here you go, Freddy. <sighs> Happy birthday, Freddy! <laughs> Time for a bit of song and dance. Everyone, copy me. Do the stomp, do the dinosaur stomp, do the roar. The dinosaur roar! Stomp, stomp, stomp! Roar, roar, roar! Do the dinosaur stomp! Stomp, roar! <laughs> <laughs> this is my best birthday ever! <laughs> George's new dinosaur! <laughs> George is playing with his favourite toy, Mr. Dinosaur. George loves playing with Mr. Dinosaur. Mr. Dinosaur is made of plastic. It is almost impossible to break him. Dinosaur. George loves playing with Mr. Dinosaur in the bath. Night time, George always takes Mr. Dinosaur to bed with him. Dinosaur! George! Mr. Dinosaur is broken! Oh! Mr. Dinosaur does not have a tail anymore. <laughs> Poor George! You have had Mr. Dinosaur a long time. I'm surprised he lasted as long as he did. Maybe it's about time you got a new dinosaur. Yes, we can go to Mr Fox's shop tomorrow. This is Mr Fox's shop. Mr Fox's shop sells everything. I'm sure we'll find you a lovely new dinosaur here, George. I'm sure. George does not want a new dinosaur. Look, George, a big dinosaur. <gasps> dinosaur. <laughs> Good morning. 
can I help you? We'd like the dinosaur in the window, please. Certainly. Good choice. This is the dino roar. It roars, it walks, and it sings a dinosaur song. Dino roar, dino roar, listen to the dino roar. Roar! Wow! wow. Dino roar! <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> roar! <laughs> George is playing with dino roar in the garden. Don't play too roughly with Dino Roar, George. He has moving parts and might get broken. George cannot play with Dino Roar in the garden. George wants to play with Dino Roar in the bath. George, if you get Dino Roar wet, he'll stop working. George cannot play with Dino Roar in the bath. It is night time. George has taken Dino Roar to bed with him. Maybe Dino Roar should sleep somewhere else. George cannot have Dino Roar in his bed at night. It is morning. Why is George looking so sad? George cannot play with Dino Roar in the garden, in the bath, or in bed. Never mind, George. Dino Roar can still roar. Dino Roar, Dino Roar, listen to the Dino Roar. Yeah. Oh. I think the batteries must have run out, Daddy Pig. Already? How many batteries are in here? Hundreds and thousands. Dino Roar needs lots of batteries to make him roar. Oh, what's this? A trumpet? <laughs> it doesn't work. I saw. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a trumpet, Pepper. You found Mr. Dinosaur's tail. Oh. Now, Daddy Pig can mend him. I'll try. Hmm. I think it might be quite difficult to mend. Oh. Daddy Pig has mended Mr. Dinosaur. Hooray! Oh, oh. I am a bit of an expert at mending things. George loves Mr. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur, dinosaur, hello, Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Dinosaur is George's favourite toy in the whole world. <laughs> Grandpa Pig's train to the rescue. Grandpa Pig is taking Pepper and George for a ride on his little train, Gertrude. Gertrude the train. And the good thing is, Gertrude has rubber wheels, so we don't have to go on train tracks. We can go wherever we like. <laughs> Grandpa's little train goes choo choo choo, choo choo choo, choo choo choo. Grandpa's little train goes choo choo choo, all day long. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Rabbit is taking the grown-ups to work in her big train. Morning, Grandpa Pig. Out on your toy train again. Gertrude is not a toy. She is a miniature locomotive. Oh, that's nice. Bye. Go faster, Grandpa Pig. I can't. This is as fast as Gertrude goes. The big train is going very fast. Oh dear, the big train has broken down. What's happening? We need to get to work. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Having trouble with your train? <laughs> it's not funny, Grandpa Pig. All of my passengers need to get to work. You need to get yourself a train that doesn't break down, like Gertrude. <laughs> That's a good idea. Out you get. What? I'm borrowing your train. I'll change. But what am I going to do? You can stay here and mend the big train. Righto. I do like mending things. Oh, what fun. Riding a toy train. Gertrude is not a toy. She is a miniature locomotive. Of course. All aboard the toy train. Can't it go any faster? No. 
Gertrude is a slow train. Mrs Cow is waiting for the train at the next station. What's happened to the big train? Has it shrunk? No, this is a toy train. Gertrude is not a toy train. She is a miniature locomotive. <laughs> <laughs> Off we go. Grandpa Pig loves mending things. So many interesting bits and bobs. Oh dear, a traffic jam. Gertrude can ride on the grass. Of course. Bye everyone. Miss Rabbit is taking a shortcut. Past the duck pond. Hello ducks. <laughs> up the hill. Come on Gertrude, you can make it. And to the next station. Hello. <laughs> Where's the big train? The big train is broken. We're riding Grandpa Pig's toy train today. Gertrude is not a toy train. She, she is, is a, a miniature locomotive. <laughs> <laughs> Next stop, the end of the line. This goes here and that goes there. Grandpa Pig has mended the big train. Good as new. <laughs> Last stop! Now you can all do your important work. Hang on. It's taken us so long to get here, it's home time. Oh, back we go then. But if we travel on Gertrude, it will take ages to get home. Hello, everyone. I've mended the big train. Excellent, Grandpa Pig. Wall change. Off we go! Stop! What about Gertrude? We can't leave her behind. Yes! Gertrude! Don't worry. We can take the toy train as well. Gertrude is not a toy. We know. She is a miniature locomotive. <laughs> <laughs> Gertrude is the best train in the whole world. <laughs> the pet competition. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, tomorrow we will have a pet competition. Ooh. Bring your pets to school. The best pet will win a prize. I'm going to bring my pet goldfish. I'm going to bring my stick insect. I will bring my gecko. I'm going to bring monkey. Ooh, ooh, that's not a real pet. It's a doll. It's not a doll. It's monkey. Ooh, 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 ooh. He likes you, Danny. Zoe can bring monkey if she wants to. Home time, children. <laughs> Don't forget your pets for the competition tomorrow. It is the evening before the pet competition. Pepper and Susie are getting Goldie the fish ready. Eat up, Goldie. You've got a big day tomorrow. I will polish your bowl. <laughs> Lovely. Pedro is talking to his stick insect. A stick insect is an insect that looks like a stick. Tomorrow, you will come with me to playgroup. They will decide who is the best pet. And it will be you. Edmund Elephant is talking to his gecko. Watch me. <laughs> You do it. <laughs> Zoe Zebra is talking to her monkey. Are you excited about the competition, monkey? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Remember to be good tomorrow. Don't be a cheeky monkey. <laughs> it is the day of the pet competition. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, who is going to decide which pet is the best? Dr. Hamster. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Oh, what lovely pets you've got. That's a happy little fish. What's its name? It's Goldie. You've met her before. She's got a very shiny bowl. <laughs> what does Goldie like doing? She likes swimming around and going like this. Wonderful. And who is this? This is my stick insect. What's his name? Stephen. What does he do? He looks like a stick. Amazing. Oh, 
What kind of animal is this? It is a gecko. Does he have a name? Hemidactylus frenatus. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. Right. And what does he do? This. <coughs> oh. Who's next? Ooh, 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 ooh. Monkey. Is he meant to be upside down? Yes. He's asleep. Oh, I see. Well, he's lovely. I've brought my pet too. Tiddles the tortoise. He likes climbing trees and... Who's the winner? <coughs> yes, who's won the prize? Oh, the prize goes to... <coughs> Tiddles the tortoise. <gasps> Dr Hamster has picked her own pet to win the prize. <coughs> That's not fair. It's your own pet. Oh, no! This is only the prize for the best tortoise. The prize for the best fish goes to Goldie the Fish. Hooray! The prize for the best gecko goes to the gecko. Hooray! The prize for the pet who looks most like a stick goes to Stephen. Hooray! The prize for the best monkey... Dr Hamster, he's not a real monkey. He's just pretend. The prize for the best pretend monkey goes to... Monkey! Hooray! But Dr Hamster, which is the best pet of all? All of them. They're all happy, healthy pets. They're lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Bedtime story. It is night time. Daddy Pig is reading Pepper and George a bedtime story. And so the prince, the princess, the budgie and the frog all lived happily ever after. The end. <laughs> the bedtime story has sent Pepper and George to sleep. Good night, my little piggies. <coughs> George is awake. I saw. George, you naughty piggy. Go back to sleep. <coughs> George is not sleepy. <coughs> George, night time is for sleeping, not playing. <coughs> I can tell you a bedtime story. <coughs> Once upon a time, there was a little pig. His name was Georgie Pig. <laughs> and he was off to make his fortune. Soon he came to a forest. Do you like the story, George? <coughs> Inside the forest was a little house. And inside the house was a bowl of porridge. <coughs> Georgie Pig was very hungry, so he ate it all up. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> but just as he finished, Baby Bear walked in and said, Oi, did you eat my magic porridge? Georgie said, yes. Baby Bear said, that was magic porridge. It will make you go very big. And then Georgie Pig began to grow. He grew and he grew and he grew until he was taller than all of the trees in the forest. The end. Are you sleepy, George? No. Not even a little bit? No. <sighs> OK, I'll do a bit more story. Baby Bear said there is a box of golden treasure at the end of the world. But it's too far for me to go because I'm too little. Georgie said I will carry you there. So Georgie Pig walked to the end of the world. He walked and he walked and he walked. Are you sleepy yet? No. He walked through forests, across mountains, across seas. And are you sleepy yet? No. He walked all the way to the end of the world and found a big box of golden treasure. Ooh. And a big...
big dragon. Grrr. Yes, a big green dragon with little wings and breathing fire. Roar! Luckily, it was a very friendly dragon. And he said, you can have the treasure. But then Georgie Pig began to shrink. He shrank and he shrank and he shrunk until he was the same little Georgie Pig as he was before. How will we get back home now? said Baby Bear. I can fly you home, said the dragon. So Georgie Pig and Baby Bear hopped on the dragon's back and flew all the way back home to the little house in the forest. And then it's the end. George is asleep. Pepper is asleep. Pepper, what are you doing out of bed? Night time is for sleeping, not playing. Night night, my little piggies. Sweet dreams. Pepper and George are in their little beds, fast asleep. <laughs>